Katie. Welcome to my channel and my version of Index Card a Day Create Daily Series. I am following a prompt from week two, Palm, in this one. It's a bright summary one. The techniques that I'm using are removing paint through a stencil and using silhouettes. So I'm, this time I'm working on my 4x4 cardboard coasters and I'll put a link to the supplies in the description box below. I do get a small commission when you shop through my Amazon link, so thank you for your support. Now I want this to be bright tropical colors, so I am pulling a yellow, a pink, an orange, and a deep violet. This is a great color combination, lots of warmth and you know really give you that tropical feel so i'm just putting that on the side on my glass media mat a little bit of each and i want to do kind of you know blend the colors in and i know i'm going to put the palm tree on there so i want kind of water on the bottom and then kind of the sunset sky with the palm trees in the silhouette so with this one I really did have a defined idea about where I wanted it to go sometimes I don't and I create the background first and I'm not exactly sure but this one you know came out of the gate pretty much ready to go which is why from beginning to end this one took only about 12 minutes to create but that definitely isn't the experience all the time. Some seem to take a whole lot more. So I am mixing the paints wet into wet to get that blending. Because I don't want necessarily a harsh, like a straight line that separates the colors. Now this cardboard coaster, I do gesso it ahead of time and I let it dry. Because it's a cardboard coaster and its purpose is to absorb moisture, I find it takes a lot longer to dry than like a canvas board. And I do put a coat of gesso on both sides and the edges to seal it in somewhat. So this is a sunburst stencil. This is a cake and cookie stencil from the Crafters Workshop. It's five by five, but it's perfect for these little four by four coasters or for five by seven art journals or iCads or that. And they work perfectly good, although they are food safe for. And I'm just removing the paint through the stencil. I absolutely love kind of the sunburst rays that I get here. Now this is another cake and cookie stencil called waves and I just kept putting it down here for to make the water it's giving the illusion now it's really important here if you're lifting I find that it, there's a coat of gesso that just makes it a little easier to lift the colored paint successfully if you put it on raw paper it's more likely to be harder to, to wipe up. So I'm absolutely loving the effect of this. And, you know, I definitely will be removing the stencil, moving paint through the stencil a little bit more. I painted the back those colors as well, and I painted the sides. Now, these are stencils that I created with my Silhouette Cameo. It was a free cut file that I picked up on a blog, and I can't remember the name. I'm sorry. If I find it, I'll put it in the description box below. So while I have it, have a cutout here, my goal is I'm going to actually use the palm tree stencil. But I could use the die cut as well. I cut out the quote, this house runs on island time, which, you know, kind of tongue in cheek because I do live on Vancouver Island. Although, yes, there are palm trees that grow here. 
they are making their way into the landscape so you do see palm trees but it's not precisely tropical so as i'm doing this i'm getting ideas for a canvas using the palm trees and the colors that I might want, and even using the silhouette. And that's what I use a lot of the, the challenges or a lot of my daily art journaling or any of my art journaling. I play around, I experiment, I try out ideas, and then, you know, I'm just more equipped to go and move that towards and put it on a canvas, which, is a little bit, you know, I'm always a little bit more reticent about working on canvas because somehow, you know, you've invested money on this and it's just scarier. I'm applying black paint with a makeup sponge and I'm patting off the makeup sponge before I put it over the stencil. And this will help prevent it from bleeding under your sponge should not be soaked. You should not be able to see the globs of paint on it. And then you go back and you apply a second or a third layer to get the desired coverage. I could also have used black gesso on here and that may have covered it faster. So again, you've got these bright, bold colors and you've got the black of the, you know, black and bold. It just, you know, you, it's a winning combination. And I'm going to, I wanted to put that up at the top and, you know, it wouldn't have been bad, but then I didn't want to block off those rays. I was so happy with the look of the rays coming out from the, from the sun, from the sky. And then I'm playing around and I didn't want to block off any of the palm trees. So I'm just playing and I, I look and I put and I'm auditioning where I want it to go. And this is just part of the process. And it might be, sometimes I don't show that. I, that's something I do off screen. Or sometimes when the spit video is sped up, you're not as aware of it. And I just wanted to point that off we spend time figuring out these things when we make these videos. So that's a natural part of the creative process. So if you're doing that, that's great. Don't worry. So I decided that I'm going to put it actually on the island and I added, I thickened up the island. I went a little bit higher and here you can see I'm just at touching up and adding just a little bit more black. So the island suddenly grew. And there I've cut it and I'm putting it on the island and I'm applying the sentiment with gel medium matte and I'm using matte because I don't want just this part to show up being shiny if I was to use gloss if that's what you have and, the, and you don't want to buy all the different products then just put the gloss over the whole thing use it as a sealer and then everything's shiny and it's all the same happy with the bright gold colors here, the silhouette, everything, and you know, I'm thinking, I'm looking at it, sitting back and saying, okay, now what can I add? Am I done? Because right automatically I'm thinking, okay, I'm done. Boy, that was quick. And sometimes that's what I use drawing time as time to think. So I decided, you know, I need a little bling on here, so I took some gold paint, thinned it down with water, grabbed my fan brush and I'm just going to splatter it with gold here and it's a very it's not in your face if I splattered with black it would have been a little bit more predominant but the gold is there so you have that little extra shimmer and sparkle to this sunset tropical sunset
I decided I'm going to turn this into a magnet and instead of covering the whole back like I've done before with a three and a half by three and a half magnet, I've just put some strips on there. And I'm going to test this out and see if it's enough. Now, I'm looking at the sides and now that I have the black on the front, I'm thinking, you know what, I need to put black on the sides and kind of shade around the edges. And that's going to frame this piece. Is this 100% necessary? For me it is. I like having it framed. It just seems to finish it off. All the more. And again, putting layers of paint on that is just going to seal in that cardboard coaster just that little bit more. Love the round edges of these cardboard coasters. So you may have noticed that while I am doing the index card a day challenge, create every day, I'm, you know, not necessarily playing them in, in order that the prompts are given. I don't necessarily follow the prompts that Daisy Yellow has given. Uh, I do look at them and I do work on them. But with summertime and, you know, we're just doing taking little day trips here. We've had company. Um, you know, you can expect to see one video every couple days. And I'm okay with you know, if I get 61 done, that's great. If I don't get 61 done, I'm, gr I'm, I'm okay with that too. Because some of the creating, you know, the day before, I cut out that palm tree. Or I look for the uh, sentiments that I've used. Or I've spent time on my word. So I am creating every day. It's just not necessarily a video a day. So here are some close-up shots. There will be some recommended videos for you to watch. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you're doing the Index Card Today Challenge. Bye.